What's up guys? I guess by the title you know what this is. Uh, we are going to put individual coils on the um, Eclipse 428. Um, I had a few mods that I want to do before this happened and one of them would be replacing the valve cover. But um, I got it powder coated but I still have some gasket in, in the bottom. And now I need to be careful cleaning it because I don't want to take the powder coat out of the edges. And so it's being a pain in the butt because whatever leftover gasket in there is heat up, burnt and all that stuff. So it, it is hard. So we're going to keep going on this one and leave the valve cover for later. And this is how it looks like so far. I just put one in there. I took all the four um cables out of there so we have them here they were broken had a bad contact and stuff and now i need to remove that and then we're going to start putting the coils in there so the way it happens is there's the, there are those four rubber things in here and they go down very tight and also a piece of rubber inside so this is metal outside i think it, it helps diffuse the heat um and check this out look at how well it goes down oh this gotta get out of there but look at this one it goes all the way and the piece of rubber touches the bottom oh it's much better than uh these guys because these guys if you ever try to take them out it sucks you pull using this side here it barely comes out because it's so tight which is so good but you know sometimes people use this part here and that's what makes it break so we're gonna put one by one uh, if you are interested I'm gonna put the wiring in here in a minute but two of them are ground and one is signal and one is positive we're gonna wire them all together get the wiring from the ECU the wire from the ECU I would love to put it straight in there but unfortunately it goes under here and I don't know I could probably do some funky thing but I think I'm just gonna extend this guys from here which is basically uh, this here those are two here I don't know if you, it's probably blurry there you go um, and I might use these guys here which is the center is 12 volts that it goes through the relay ASD relay and the other two are signals um, signals I might use them since they are extended already and I'm just gonna bring two more signals from somewhere and make it sequential okay so one thing I'm gonna do right now is remove this coil pack, uh, we definitely don't need it. And the engine is going to look much nicer without it. Uh, dang, dang, okay. There you go. So what do you think? Would that look decent? Before cutting this connector out of here, I am going to, I'm measuring it ready, so I'm going to extend the positive which is the center connector or the center wire in this connector and then um, I'm going to solder this in here and I got a guarantee that this harness is going to have a good flow so this in there this can be in here and the last one is fine so uh, I might actually cut both last ones and and solder uh, in the end because I guess uh, yeah that's gonna be a good thing so I'm gonna cut this in here as you see I expose this wire I'm gonna open a little space um, like this in here 
to guarantee a very good contact so I'm just opening just like a like this and they, the wires those guys here they just go inside I'm gonna wrap around I've done that on the BMW and it works perfectly so some people like soldering some people like um, crimping um, I have more luck soldering okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this right in here I'm gonna cut like just leave a little slack so it can be someone else can use this connector and of course disconnect the battery because you're touching positive into things um, I'm going to cut a little bit of this so I have my three wires but first I'll get the middle one which is red and black I'm going to open them both on a V shape then twist them together solder uh, I need to be sure that this is gonna go all the way through all right it is nice and shiny and it got all over so now hit shrink in there uh, I might cut this a little longer so I have all the wires not solder on the same spot because if one fail I don't want one to touch the other or something like that uh, that is done now I'm just gonna do one of those get inside when you go inside you open it and then you shut the bottom part and then you twist both sides this not gonna help work with the uh, heat shrink because it's a T. Nice. So this one was a nice, as nice as I wanted. But it is done and it is strong. So I'm gonna do that in all of them. Um, leaving that way, I keep the harness flowing good until the last. Uh, wire so we're not gonna get kinky or twisting or nothing it's gonna be straight so let me do all the positives and then I'll come back uh, from the right to the left this part where it is not rounded is one so one is 12 volts which we did correct which is red two and four are uh, ground and three is the signal so yellow is signal um, the signal is what we are putting together two and four we are going to ground them together and they go to the cylinder head um, yeah those wires are good they are good thickness I think it got to be it's like around uh, 12 gauge someone was saying 18 or 16 uh, which is fine but you know the thicker the better because it's gonna have better signal so let's ground um, 214 together and go to the cylinder head so this is what I did I got the signal wire so number one is pink uh, number two is purple number three is yellow number four is white so I need to and by the way I can change this I just don't think I have this cam signal on the Speedwino so if I don't have the cam signal I cannot do sequential so I'll try this I want to start the car this is gonna work and we're gonna go there later so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get the right length and I'm gonna put together white and pink and of course I got the whole length so I, I wouldn't uh, fall short so it would be one and four and two and three that means well it's gonna uh, spark one and four but four won't have gas just one 
then it goes to two and three, just three is gonna have uh, gas. Then goes back to one and four, only four is gonna have gas, then two and three again, just two is gonna have gas. So this is gonna give me the perfect combination uh, for now. This here, the brown, is number three on the ECU, which is a Spark 2, and the blue, uh, the black with the blue stripe, is number 11 if I'm not wrong on the ECU and that's ignition 1 so ignition 1 will be 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 is going to be ignition 2 all right as you saw in the beginning of the video we have the weeding combination the car started and everything but there is a trick yeah uh, I couldn't use way spark which was uh, putting together 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 um, so we did sequential and you're gonna see by the end of this video what we select on Turner Studio to make it fire uh, sequential. Um, but for that to happen, we need to understand a couple of things. One is if you get the uh, fish dog uh, wiring, you see the pin three and pin sixteen is ignition one, which is white and red. Pin fifteen is ignition two with white and black. Ignition 3 is pin 4, white and gray, and pin 3, which is ignition 4, which is the last one, it is gray and black. So it's uh, uh, all the wires are white, except for the number 4, which is gray, and they have red is number 1, black is number 2, gray is number 3, and then the gray and black is number 4. What does that mean? That means that... Uh, we're gonna have a sequence. The ECU doesn't know anything about the sequence of the engine. You see, you will fire one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But for us, we need to do exactly the same thing we did for the injectors. The engine will fire one, three, four, and two. So first cylinder fires. The second cylinder is not the second cylinder that fires. Is the third one. Then it goes to the fourth cylinder and then goes back to the second cylinder. It fires that way because it keeps the engine in a balance and vibrates less or whatever it is. But uh, for us, we need to wire that way now. So we remember um, three wires were white, one was gray, gray and black. The white ones was red was the first one, black was the second, and gray was the third. So that said, we know in here, where are we? Here that uh, cylinder number one is going to fire by the way the yellow ones all the yellow uh, wires here right from my connector they are the signal and I extend all the wiring to be able to go to wherever I want so extending the yellow uh, my first cylinder came here to uh, white and red my the second ignition which is uh, black and there you go black and white white and black is connected to the third one and then we have two more so we have cylinder number three connected to um, gray and black which is the last one that fires and cylinder number four is white and gray, which is the third ignition. So that way, when the ECU fires uh, white and red, white and black, white and gray, and gray and black, that's gonna fire one, three, four, two. So I'm gonna solder that later, uh, put the wire loom again, make it nice, um, see where, maybe I'm just gonna go under this uh, intercooler piping in here and you know try to follow the same place where uh, the OEM wiring loom is going to um, and maybe put another wire loom and just follow it I didn't want to do it that's why I tried to do the waste spark but you know uh, this way worked better all right so let's see we have spark <laughs> Dude, 
We started. <laughs> Ooh. 428, Speedwino, first start. It was kind of lame. I need to turn out oh, the fan because this goes everywhere in the house. My wife is going to be in here in a second and she's going to say, Did you turn on the fan? Yeah. So, what do we need to do now? Uh, I'm sure. Wow, it is rich as it can be. This is cold. And wow, wow. All right, so this is what I've got. Waste uh, co-op or COP, coil and plug, not co-op. Uh, glowing low and that's pretty much it. Now we go to the well settings. We have four, three and one. Yeah, nothing special in there, and the other good configurations is here. Engine control, uh, engine constants. It is it is sequential, and when you go to trigger settings, we have of course DSM and we have falling. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna try to crank it again. I'm gonna start a log. And yeah, from that log, I'm going to see how rich it is and all that stuff so I can play a little bit later. But uh, this is pretty much what I did. I, I did not have, I got a lot of parts, uh, little boards like this to amplify the signal. Didn't need it yet. I'm not sure if it's gonna start um, misfiring and all that stuff when I drive. If it does, um, I'm gonna talk to this PDFI guys. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good. You just put the uh, the thing in there, the uh, spark plugs, and good to roll. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you have a, a 428 and you're trying to do this, um, if you don't have a Speed EFI and you have a Speed Arduino, I think it's fine. But if you have Mega Squirt, it should be the same. But I can't guarantee. Um, but yeah. Coils, they are called VAG coils because uh, Volks, Audi, and I don't know what the G is, GM. Uh, and some of them, they don't have enough power to trigger the spark, but uh, with the right configuration, uh, they do. One thing I didn't show you before I let you go when you go to the trigger settings, uh, the trigger angle in degrees, I put 12 and it's kind of rough to start but it works so from here i'm gonna get the trigger light because it was hard i didn't have anybody to help me and i'm gonna see how the timing how is the timing uh when it's running like at 20 or 30 or 10 right um and if it's different there i'm gonna try to bring it to 10 20 same thing that the log is telling me where it is and well that's going to be subject for another video. I got to go inside. I'm freezing here. Uh, I'm going to start again. Go. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave, leave that little... Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave that little like button. Um, also make a little comment. If you have a comment to make, I'll definitely answer. Don't, and don't do stupid comments. Don't make stupid comments because then I'm just going to ignore you. I don't care either. But I love you guys. Thanks for the support. And I'll catch you later.